Hey there, CPO here, and this is part two of the Dynatrack ProRock 44 Unlimited install. This is a continuation from the first video, which was basically the disassembly of the stock axle and uh, the prep work I did on the ProRock. Now uh, we're actually installing the ProRock 44 into the Jeep, and uh, it went pretty smooth actually. So uh, we only had two real issues, and uh, the first one came up pretty quick. So check it out. All right, so we ran into a little problem, and that is this pumpkin is so massive that it won't allow this upper control arm on the driver's side to fit the control arm mount. Uh, so what we're gonna do is shave a little bit off the bottom of this control arm bracket so that it'll fit down there. We can force it, but if we flex, it's going to um, sort of destroy that bushing over time, rub it against this pumpkin. So. We're gonna cut a little relief here, um, and then that should fix it. Everything else so far uh, is looking good with the new Dynatrack Pro Rock 44. Again, just this one here uh, has given us some grief. So we're gonna do a little surgery. Um, really happy with how these turned out. Um, nice flat surface. You can see where my upper uh, speed bump has been hitting, right around the perimeter there. And, uh, and then we got our holes drilled uh, and painted for the TerraFlex uh, limit straps that I have. So that all went okay, but uh, this one we just need to do a little bit more work on. All right, so we pulled this control arm off and uh, we're gonna trim a little bit off the bottom here. It's easier to pull it off than to try and work that out on the Jeep, so sorry backlighting everywhere. This thing is beastie though, that's for sure. All right, so quick test fit after cutting. And you can see now we've got some room there before we hit the pumpkin. We're gonna check the travel. It's all the way at its farthest down that'll go. It's still not touching. This saved us the trouble of taking off those sensors, so we had to just remember to put it on before we put the uh, knuckle back on. All right, so according to Dynatrack, the assembly uh, procedure is to torque the top ball joint to 35, the bottom ball joint to 70, then the top ball joint to 70, then the bottom ball joint to 105, and that sort of works it up uh, sort of systemically so that everything aligns properly. All right, so I'm just going to give you some background music and let you watch the rest of this. Uh, it's pretty uneventful, basically just a systematic reassembly of everything that was unassembled. Uh, I'll do setup later, uh, pinion caster type stuff, um, but just know that uh, it pretty much went back in place of where the stock axle came out of. Uh, other than that control arm bracket, I did have one other issue, and that was the passenger side quick disconnect. Uh, I run TerraFlex quick disconnect, but I don't think it matters because any disconnect would have a problem. There's just no room to disconnect it, and uh, the, uh, the mounting tabs for the disconnects or for the links are further outbound. So instead of having them point outwards like I had them before, I had to have them pointed inwards. Uh, which makes it impossible to get it on and off on the passenger side. So I'm going to have to sort that out and figure out what a good solution is. I'm not the only one that's had that problem. As a matter of fact, I may call Dynatrack uh, and ask them about that. But anyway, uh, the rest of it was pretty easy peasy lemon squeezy. So I'll let you just watch the rest of this uh, for a bit and then uh, we'll catch you up there at the end.
is it. You know things are getting close. We're filling the uh, diff full of oil. It wasn't without some challenges, but it's finally all on. Of course, what I don't have is a front uh, drive shaft, because I'm gonna have to order one. I'm getting one from Tom Woods. I gotta measure this and uh, get them to send me one. In the meantime, I'm just gonna run without. It'll be fine. So there you have it. Uh, I'm not going to lie, it was super convenient to have somebody with a lift and a nice shop to do this in. Uh, so thanks, Jeff. I really appreciate it. Um, and, uh, you know, hey, we're off to the next phase. Uh, I'm driving out of here, and just a couple days after this video was shot, uh, I go over to World Tour Off-Road to have the rear uh, differential upgraded and uh, air locker put in that. So anyway, that's it for now. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you on the next one.